Good afternoon, YouTube gang. It's Mellow DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to give you my fave five plays for today's whopping 15 game main slate. Hope everybody's having an amazing day. Feel free to smash that like button. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Welcome or just supporting your boy. Appreciate the love, y'all. Also, press that bell icon so you always stay notified for future videos. All right, because I do have videos coming in around 3, 4 o'clock eastern time at times due to the fact that i do work throughout the day so please press that bell icon so you always stay notified when a new video pops up y'all we smashed yesterday you know we definitely was in the green all night long my man goldie with goldie uh ghost gold schmidt was had a grand slam i mean we was man we did well y'all we even had the aaron nola spot i mean it was it was great i mean ivan nova sorry ivan nova spot so great savings great plays let's jump back into it hopefully keep it rolling tonight all right so let's get into the pitcher position for today definitely want to take a look at like chris um i do like chris archer in his play against uh st louis today all right he got a 70 at bats he has a 257 bad average against the cardinals he's been doing well he's averaging around 38 base points in the past two games um versus st louis this year y'all so definitely want to take a look at this play he's always been upside he had a 19 but um playing them you know this season he has 38 fancy points on FanDuel side which is amazing anytime you're in 30s 40 fancy points in FanDuel, that's amazing draft kings you're looking about 17 up to 20 plus that on draft kings but nonetheless and a great play today st louis line averages around 30 23.6 strike rate against right hand pitchers uh he's averaging 27 strike rate and uh 10.9 strikes per nine endings uh so chris archer's in a great spot also is in a part a ballpark upgrade for him uh last game at uh, St. Louis, he had a 37 face point game with eight strikes, y'all. So Chris Archer's in a great spot today at 7,500. It's too cheap to ignore on DraftKings, 8,300 on FanDuel. All right, another guy you could look at. Of course, we got Chris Sale. You know, he's a great play today going against um, the Rays. You know, he's averaging 51.2 uh, phase points in the past five games at Tampa. He had a 49, a 57 phase point game last season at Tampa. So that's great to know. Recently, he's still been dominating them. He's averaging around 35.7 strike rate, a 31 strike uh, combined strike rate. Also, is a ballpark upgrade for him. He's been averaging 13.1 strikes per nine innings, averaging 38.8 phase points per game. So if you get fit him in there, which you should, is 11,000 on DraftKings, 10,200 on FanDuel. The prices are much manageable uh, today because DraftKings was just all over the place yesterday. So finally, it came down to common ground today so chris sales in a great spot uh, another guy you could look at as well you know we still want to get some savings um let's go down this list uh he's real cheap we like wade miley all right great spot uh he's averaging 37.5 face points in the past two games at home versus oakland that's great to know you know he's a good guy you know he's a good player you know he had a 49 face point game versus boston he had a 46 face point game versus the cubs as you can see, check him out. You know, he's been he's been well. He's been doing good. Uh, and both of those games were at home. He's been averaging around 37.6 fans points in seven home games, y'all. So definitely want to take a look at him. He's in a great play today. Wade Miley, too cheap to ignore. 8,000 on DraftKings, 7,400 on FanDuel. So we could definitely load up on some great bats today, y'all. So those are my pitchers for today. All right, let's go to our first baseman position. All right, now. First baseman, I want to go down to my guy, Edwin Encarnacion. It's a 10 over and under play for them today. He's 10 for 33 against Kyle Gibson with a 303 batting average with four home runs in his favor. Y'all, he's been doing great. He's averaging 15.8 fans points in, in high scoring games. That's a plus. He's averaging, uh, like I said, he had four home runs with a 303 batting average, uh, a 424 ISO, a 455 Woba versus Gibson, y'all. So he's been 
dominating Gibson. Uh, also, Minnesota's bullpen is one of the worst bullpens in the league, at allowing an average 44.3 base points per play appearance against right hand bats. So, Edwin Encarnacion is in a, another great play today at 4,900 on DraftKings, but 30, 42 on FanDuel. So, definitely want to take a look at him in this play. I right, definitely like him in this spot today. Uh, also, Austin Nola on the catcher side going against. Uh, Texas uh, Rangers with Brett Martin, who is worst pitch against righties, and Nola crushes lefties as you can see, 1.5 OPS. Man, he's been annihilated. He did damage yesterday. Definitely want to take a look at him as he's real cheap at 3,500 last night against Rangers. He, I feel like he's definitely be able to do it again today, knowing he's in another favorable matchup. Too cheap to ignore, man. 2,200 on FanDuel, and you're looking about 39 on DraftKings. So, love this play for catcher for him. All right, let's go to our next spot at second baseman. Now, second baseman, got to take a look at Max Muncy, man. He's been doing damage, y'all. 24% advantage play going against Felix Pena, man. Worst pitch against lefties, and he's 3 for 7, 429 batting average, and 3 for 7, and a play appearances. He had three home runs just knocking him out the park, man. Max Muncy is my guy for today. He has two home runs in the last game um, versus the Angels um, at their stadium as well. Eight out of nine home runs in the past 20 games are against right-hand pitchers. 17 out of 20 RBIs also against righties. So as you see, he has much upside against right-hand pitchers. All right, so he has a 464 Wova, a 473 ISO against right-hand pitchers, y'all. Just been dominating and going against Pena. He has a 1.286 ISO against Pena and 836 Wova crushing him man so love Max Muncy I definitely gonna pay up with this price so 4900 on DraftKings 41 is still too cheap on FanDuel to put him in your lines that's the reason why I want to give you some savings on pitchers so you can get some great bats today because Max Muncy is worth it for tonight all right now let's go to our next spot going to third baseman now third baseman is gonna be a little tricky but I'm gonna go back to the well with DJ uh, LeMahieu, man, he gave us a home run last night. He did his he did his job in the 10 over under play against Minnesota. He had 34 fans points last night. He's been crushing it lately in the past four games, as you can see. And going against Minnesota again, all right. Going against Kyle Gibson, you know, so I definitely like this play for him at 4,100 on FanDuel, 7, uh, let's see, 4,800 on DraftKings. He has two home runs back to back, y'all. So he's averaging 22.7 fans points in the past four games. Look at his scoring, y'all. He's been doing well. So I like this play for him. His last game against them, he had a 34 fans point game. That is FanDuel pricing, just letting y'all know. Uh, I'm sorry, FanDuel scoring. Sorry about that. He has a 398, a 397 batting average versus right hand pitchers with a 442 Woba against righty. So, love this play for DJ in this spot tonight with Edwin. Um, Yankee stack here. Um, another stack I definitely like is uh, you know, you got Cleveland, um, you got you got uh, Washington, um. So I live in DMV area, so Washington should be clear today. You know, finally, the weather's been finally back to normal. We've been scorched lately with 90s and 100s, man, index. So today is around set high 70s today. So I love the Washington stack today as well with the lefties, uh, lefty side of things. Uh, so you'll get insight. If you have access to my player pool, you will have insight of my player pool, y'all. So definitely check that at the end of the video. But another guy I look at at third baseman. Even though I don't like the uh, history with two for ten going against Aaron Sanchez, Jose Ramirez has still been doing damage recently. I can't ignore him, man. In the past five games, check him out: 22, 25, 10, 26. In the past five games, he just had 22 last game against Toronto. But, but I like him here, man. Four out of five home runs in the past 20 games were against right-hand pitchers. 12 out of 18 RBIs against righties. He's been hot lately in the in the five position. All right, going against Sanchez. Sanchez, you know, he averages around a 366 Wova, a 250 average versus switch switch bats. 
in his favor. He, I just don't know why you know he hasn't been connecting well against him. He has two for ten against him, but he has good upside in this play. So hopefully with this hot streak he's been doing, he'd be low on due to the fact of his history, and he could definitely annihilate this plot spot today. And he's 4,500 on DraftKings, 42 on FanDuel. If you want to go over this risky high reward play, Jose Ramirez has been on fire lately with a 7% advantage play with a switch hit. All right, so definitely like that spot for him today. Let's go to the outfitters at our last position. If you like the play so far, feel free to give a thumbs up. Any questions with your line, feel free to comment below. All right, just let me know about the feedback. Let's go to our last player outfielder. All right, going to go with Juan Soto. All right, like I said, Washington Stack is real good in this play against Lambert. He gets crushed by lefties, and you already know with Soto, he's an amazing batter all around, righties and lefties. But he has a great position, 25% advantage play. Love the spot. He's too cheap, too cheap on FanDuel, 3,900. Looking at 4,600 on DraftKings, but nonetheless, he's been well. Past four, uh, 20 games, he has four out of five home runs against right-hand pitchers. 10 out of 12 RBIs against righties as well. He has a 402 Woba, uh, 231 ISO against righties. And Lambert, he's he's not a good pitcher, man. He's been giving up around 3.3 fans points in the past. Uh, 3.3 fans points per plate appearance versus left-hand bats, giving up like a 412 Woba, 329 ISO. And I like Soto here because he plays well at home. You know, Nats Park is more of a hitter-friendly park, so he could do damage here. All right, so life Juan Soto in this spot, but we got to get some savings on the outfield side. So let's go ahead and give you a nice, a nice saving spot. Definitely like uh, Kansas City uh, outfielders here, man. You got, you got Bubba Stu You got uh, what's his name? Matat Muskakis. You have uh, who else? You got uh, let's see. But anyways. I'm going to go down to my guy. He's real cheap, and he's been dominating lately, y'all. So, I like Bubba Starling, man. He's been well. He's 3,134 on DraftKings. He's probably going to be low on because he hasn't been thought, he hasn't been talked about. 79% advantage play against Dallas Cucho. Cucho, man, he's been dominating lefties. You see, 1.278 OPS against lefties. Bubba Starling has been doing his thing crushing lefties he had a home run last game versus cleveland the win is also blowing out in his favor in center uh eight miles per hour he has a 444 batting average in 10 play appearances versus lefties a 333 iso a 537 woba averaging around 4.1 fancy uh, points per plate appearance versus left hand pitchers. So Bubba Starlin, my guy at a cheap spot at 31 on FanDuel. 34 is too cheap on DraftKings to ignore. But love that play for him. And like I said, you got Merrifield. He's in a great play today. All right, five for nine against Cuchel, man. If, I, if I'm pronouncing the name wrong, sorry about that. But anyways, Marfield is doing, Merrifield is doing damage. You got Jorge Solar, you know. So you got a great Kansas City outfitter stack right there with Solar, Solar and uh, Merrifield and Starlin here. So anyways, those are my plays for today. Y'all sorry for carrying this video on, but I want to give you the, some simple plays because it's 15 main, main slate, man. You gotta you gotta dissect it, man. So keep it simple and get some great plays and load up some great bats and some great stacks, y'all. So love y'all, man. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you're new. Also, if you want access to my player pool, all you have to do is click on the link in my description. It's only a dollar for 30 days. You can do a lot for a dollar, so why not cash? Alright, once you sign up, click on the menu bar, you have access to your top plays of the day the mlb cheat sheet they give you the best plays of the slate from the top all the way down to the uh value plays and we also added the home run hitters and good spots so that's a great tool to see this helps save on research time you have your sleepers your studs click on your watch players you have access to your player pool and also with my plays y'all so click on metal zfs picks for my plays for either DraftKings or FanDuel. So I love y'all, man. Y'all collect that bag for today. Y'all have a great day. It's Mel DFS. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all have an amazing one. And I'll see y'all in the next video.